over the course of this video and just listen to my voice you all may be able to tell but i'm a bit unwell under the weather i have had some stuffy nose and um the rain is falling which is going to make this worse but we decided we're making a video today so i'm already sick can't get sick twice so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't make it worse but we're going to be harvesting something that is amazing for when you are unwell and when you're hardened and you want to be in the rain when you should be inside in the dry i am going to be harvesting ginger because ginger is an amazing crop that you can grow in a container this is in a bucket it's a pretty heavy bucket oh, oh, oh. this is in a bucket here and um it's such a good medicinal plant to have in your garden um, it's delicious one it can be used with so many different meats and foods and fried rice and whatnot you can use a ginger even with cakes and different kinds of bread you can use ginger so i mean gingerbread um and drinks of course you know um for christmas you will have the ginger ale so ginger is very very useful very versatile and it's especially useful when you are unwell so we're going to be harvesting some ginger this week on the chini garden channel Hello everyone, thank you all so so very much for joining in. This is the lovely Trini Gardens channel and I'm just so so happy that you're here because you're going to be doing a quick harvest of ginger. I am unwell and I'm not making it any better by being outside here where it's been drizzling a little bit but I do want to get some of this ginger from this container. I would like to show you all um, this little harvest of ginger. I'm not going to be keeping you all today at long at all. Um, we're just going to harvest it right here. I'm not even going to empty the entire thing out. I'm just going to be pulling out some heads because that's one of the, th the first things about harvesting ginger is that you don't have to harvest all the ginger at once ginger grows it's a rhizome it's not the root itself it's a rhizome so the roots are tiny little fibers that grow into the soil and ginger is the stored tubers of energy these leaves they will join um they will take that light out of the atmosphere out of the from the sun and they will uh, create photosynthesize, have energy created in forms of sugar, and that will go down. The excess energy will be used to create these massive tubers of ginger that we get. And the rain is falling. I know it's going to make me more unwell, but I do want to get this video out anyway. So um, these leaves that you're seeing here, these are not the perfect um, indication that your ginger is ready to harvest. Ginger can take between six months to a year, sort of similar to saffron that we saw last week. So it'll take a good bit of time to get your ginger up and running. But at the same time, if you don't need your ginger, you can just harvest your ginger little by little because it'll just continue growing. It's a rhizome and every few inches, it'll send up a shoot and it'll keep growing like that. So you can just cut a piece like this take off that bit of ginger and all that's on this side you leave it to grow and it'll spread back over time so you can do that and one of the ways that we know the ginger is ready to harvest so if it's not indicating that it's ready to harvest why am i harvesting because there are different levels on the rhizome and i can see some levels that are looking like let me just pull this out so you can see it care more, more properly that are looking like this you want your ginger leaves to look like this to truly be ready to harvest the ginger but if you're like me in this situation and you see some leaves looking like this, which means this ginger could stay in this container for a good few months again. Um, but because I want to get some ginger for my illness, for my ailment, and um, it's not such a big problem because I could just plant more ginger. Um, even though, and it's, this is why it's so amazing, and I have a ginger growing guide on the channel, you're free to go and look at that, um, is that you can grow ginger anywhere in any kind of container that you have once you have your drainage holes at the bottom full grain guide that you can look at um, for ginger on the side here and um, you can see how easy it is to grow ginger because ginger can become very expensive especially around christmas time you can see ginger sell at some astronomical prices so if you can grow your own ginger at home think about how much easier your life will be how much cheaper your food bill will be by not having to buy ginger and um, remember that these scape signs up here um these stems they also like if you pluck it up it smells so good like ginger so you can boil these and you can use this in food in salad people do use it um and you can also um, boil it and and get all the benefits of ginger just from the leaves alone that's how potent this plant is but you know no more um yapping away on my part we're just going straight into harvesting some ginger Ever seen green leaves like this, normally that indicates that the ginger is not ready to be picked. 
but I have a bit more information, seeing that this is my ginger that I grew, um, is that yes, there are some green leaves here, which means that there is ginger that will continue growing, but this ginger has been in this container for just over a year now. So that means we definitely have some parts of this ginger that have fully died back. See all this? This was just like how you had these scapes here that are green. You had some scapes that were fully, fully ready. And that's the thing. It's a kind of a cycle, which is why ginger is so great. If you have it in ground, you can have ginger, an endless supply of ginger. And another way is that, okay, you're seeing green here, which only means that you don't have to pick all the ginger, but, or you don't have to pick, or you're not ready to pick the ginger. But if you go down here and you are seeing heads of ginger, that means you have ginger. See that over here? Ginger, 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 and I had, let me just see where I had it, hold on. Yeah, see, I know I had it somewhere. So there's some ginger that I had harvested when I did the harvest video for you all about uh, two, three weeks ago. Um, and you can see that this same piece of ginger, this chunk that I took out, I was going to use, um, and I could use technically, it already started to grow heads right here. So these are how the heads go, and the heads go around, like you'll get a head here, you'll get a, sorry, this is not a head, an eye, you call this an eye. And each one of these could grow up eventually to become this here. So ginger is really easy to plant back. And in fact, the saffron container that I showed you all last time, because I use ginger more than saffron, I'm going to be using that container to grow more ginger in it. Because right now, this is all ginger that I have, and I will be harvesting it out today for the video. So I'll be planting more ginger in, and in a few months, now, I did say six to, to a year, but um, you can have ginger technically growing to some extent by three to four months. It'll not be much. And I don't recommend that you harvest it so, so soon as it's way too much like rubbing the cradle. But um, it doesn't really take that very long because especially it's such a low maintenance crop. It's something that you don't have to spend much time, much energy, much finances on you just plant it and just water it every once in a while or if it has you know rain is coming in and you'll get plenty plenty ginger an amazing amazing crop amazing amazing herb food sauce everything okay so i'm just going to be using now so let's set this aside over here oh that was my seat that's all sitting on and um i'm just going to be using this to just kind of loosen up the top here now ginger is one of those things that like even though there's soil all the way here and i recommend you give it as much soil as you can it's a five gallon con um, pigtail bucket here so it has a good bit of soil going down the rhizomes are only going to be about till halfway maximum okay it's just going to be like roots of the ginger like little tiny hairs and fibers not actual ginger so i don't need to empty the entire thing right now unless i really wanted to this loosen up the soil or something so i'm just going to be coming over this and just loosen the soil a little bit and just trying to raise up the ginger like that try not to break it too much but it'll be fine i'm sure and yeah and if you didn't want to have out all of it like i do you don't have to see so see like i broke out a piece of ginger here already see that yeah let me take this somewhere where i can clean up the area after so there we are. So this is the old piece of ginger. This one here that I got. Yeah. Okay. Trying to do this kind of POV position for you all so that you can be in on the action as well. See that ginger? It's not massively developed head because that's from the scapes that are not fully ready. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is what we came for. This baby right here. Look at that. Look at that. So amazing that this is possible just in a bucket that was bought with paint in it. Painted this house. See the color here? See the color there? Um, that color over there. And um, now it's green ginger. How amazing is that? didn't realize that um, the mic stopped working so um, it looked pretty silly just harvesting and talking to myself on the the video but 
um, this is pretty much just all the ginger that I'm left with because I already shared out um, the other bit. Um, but you know, just so so happy, so uh, just incredible how much you can grow. Even if you don't have any land or have much space, you can just still have amazing, amazing plants, amazing, amazing herbs, food sources that will reduce your food bill and just make sure you eat so much healthier in your diet. So remember that if you know somebody who would be interested in uh, growing more healthy organic food and just see how you can do that without having much space at all, without any big set of resources, feel free to share this video with them and feel free as well to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook and tag us if you have any harvest, your nice ginger or anything else, we're just happy to see what you all are getting up to. Just remember, as always, this has been the Lovely Training Garden Channel, reminding you to get up in your grain. Take care.